Even when you're in an atmosphere which is quite different from your own, just the idea that the world is populated with so many interesting human beings that you can feel some brotherly or sisterly affection for. I mean, I think that's the best idea and one that you carry with you for the rest of your life. So if you were, for example, owner of a small company in central Indiana and you had an opportunity to make a connection with people in another country, I think you're more likely to feel safe and confident about making that connection if you've studied abroad. I think uh, study abroad in general makes you more tolerant of other people's differences as well as their similarities. Uh, so study abroad, I think most of the time your attitude is, my goodness, that's the way they do that here. How interesting. And I think that that fosters a tolerance which uh, is enormously important in our global world where everything is interconnected and uh, a concept that's very important that students should teach their children as well. And so on a human level, those are the, I think, the most important things to carry away. Again, uh, I think that study abroad is very good for uh, developing your own personality. After you have coped with study abroad, you cope with another uh, culture, I think you come back more confident, more outgoing, uh, more uh, pleased with your own self and your own accomplishments. Yeah, especially with a program like ICEP, I took the more independent route of going abroad. And although you know you gain a sense of independence by going to college here in the U.S., you know putting yourself in a different country where you know nobody, you have no connections, you have to be self-reliant. You have to fend for yourself in a way that you don't hear. So I think that's one way that you know. I don't think you could really fully get that experience here. Um, having to adapt to a new culture, having to adapt to a new climate, I mean, way of life, it's, it's different. And uh, allowing those uh, reservations to not let you go abroad would be one of the biggest mistakes you could ever make. Because there were points where I considered, you know, oh, it's too expensive, can I be away from home that long? Like, what if something happens when I'm over there? But those are things that can happen anyway here. And the lessons I learned about what I'm capable of, about other people from different places, just it's indescribable and you can't really put it into words on how much you can learn about just everything. I think even being there, um, I learned a lot about other people, but viewing the United States from an outside perspective gives, I think you can learn more that way than you could by just being here. Um, and so I'd say go for it because there's never going to be a time where it's easier than in college. I mean, you're getting credit for it. You know, you're satisfying what you're going to college for anyway. Maybe more expensive, but it's money well worth spent. It's interesting how um, we recognize stereotypes, but we don't often recognize them of ourselves. If I were to say it to a student, um, what do you think of Chinese people? They would probably give me a list of 10 items. What if you, I ask you, what do you think of Australian people? They would probably give me a list of 10 items, yet they may have never visited those countries. Those same students would be shocked to find that if you went to Europe or Asia or Africa and asked for their impressions of Americans, uh, what that list of 10 items might be. Uh, it is true that in a lot of countries, uh, Americans are seen as loud, they're seen as pushy, they're seen as uh, money-driven. Um, and uh, in fact, I had the students in Europe who said to me that they believed that most Americans carried guns as a regular process. And the reason they think that is because their perceptions of America come from American television and American movies. And what are the things they see of America. Uh, so I think uh, there's two things that a student studying abroad ought to be aware of. One is that your perceptions of those people in that country are being driven by mediated perceptions and you shouldn't assume that they're at all accurate. 
And second, that the people you're meeting when you travel overseas, you may be the first American they've ever met. And their perception of Americans is going to be driven by what they've seen in movies and television. So it's, it's your obligation to convince them that we are not gun-toting, loud, obnoxious, money-driven individuals.